No. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. This one is all about the two rolls of black and white I shot in Greece. If you haven't seen part one of the Greece video, I'll put a link in the description so you can catch up. That one was all about shooting medium format color photos. On my recent conversation with Tatiana, she said, and I'm paraphrasing here, that black and white removes the element of time out of the equation and puts you right in the center of emotions. I think that's quite true. I always love seeing black and white images from my friends and photographers that I admire. Uh, they pull me in right away and I don't scroll past them like I do with color images, let's say. Uh, and I'm constantly inspired by their work and wanted to shoot more black and white uh, and in the streets. So the objective here for me was to compose with people in the frame. Old Venetian Harbor is one of my favorite spots for people watching. The lighthouse not only provided a sweet backdrop for whatever unfolds there, but also made for an interesting subject. The old town has almost claustrophobic streets, but you're never far from the sea, so the combination made for some interesting experiences in how the landscape unfolded as you walk towards the sea. I gotta say though, I was very uncomfortable to point the camera at people on the streets. I was conscious of my skin color. I wouldn't wanna invite any kind of conflicts. So it was intimidating to begin with, but I managed to not stop. And after seeing the photos, I do wanna shoot more in the streets with people and get closer to the crowd.
So that was it. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I forgot to mention earlier that the role of XP2 Super 400 was a gift from Jamie, who's part of the front photography team. Uh, so that, thanks, Jamie. Um, I hope you liked those photos. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to continue to shoot black and white and especially try my hands on street photography as well. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, let me know in the comments. Do you shoot black and white? Do you have a go-to black and white film stock? I'd love to know. But yeah, that's it. That's it for this week. Thank you so much for giving me your time. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.